PTSD, we've talked about the letter D being the disorder, the S being the stress. It's time to talk about the T, the trauma. Um, 2003 Iraq, I was rolling in a thin skinned Humvee uh, in support of some intelligence operations and early Sunday morning, we got hit with an IED. Uh, it was the first real hit I'd taken. I took shrapnel on my leg, had both eardrums ruptured um, and you know, it sucked. There was no doubt it was traumatic. Uh, we all had, you know, truly what you'd call shell shock. If a book fell off the desk and hit the floor, you jumped out of your skin. There wasn't anything you could do about it. As the shell shock went away, um, the trauma was still there. Uh, for me, after that, I continued deploying, you know, for another, you know, 50 plus deployments. And I was always doing mobile operations. So I was driving through combat zones and that was always still there and and by far my most vulnerable time in combat was you know point a to point b with the ieds with roadblocks with uh, you know a variety of scenarios um, so driving driving was my trauma now this is important if you have not completed not watched but actually completed the first steps this one is not going to make any sense at all you're gonna say he's wrong, um, but I can tell you, if your life is still in disorder, you're not gonna get over your trauma. If your life is still full of stress, you're not gonna get over your trauma. And if you don't know how to love yourself, you're not gonna get over your trauma. So that's a fact. And this may be something that takes years. Um, it may be something that, that you, know, you can do in a matter of weeks, uh, depending on the different levels of where you're at. So complete the first steps and then we'll talk about how to get over the trauma. Driving in combat is a lot different than driving back home. We had a saying over there that speed is security because the faster you were going, the harder you were to hit. So when I got hit, I was in a thin skin Humvee with no doors. We weren't going fast. Um, those were some really, really slow vehicles. But driving was such a component of what I was doing overseas that it came back home with me. And that speed of security became very real, became very evident. If I had a car in front of me that was going slow, it literally made me feel vulnerable. And I got so mad at them and I would do stupid things trying to get around them, trying to pass them, trying to force them off the road. It was just the trauma coming back up of not being comfortable driving because that was the threat. I was exposed, I was out there. And when I brought that home, it was, it was a bad place to be. And every time I got in a car, which was every day, that came back out. So I had to work on this one for quite a while. And the, the unlock, the way that made it all better was through hypnosis. And, and we talked about you know these different practitioners that I work with and, and how important it is to take care of yourself first. And I identified the driving issue and knew it was a problem. And what I ended up doing, and what Cooper, my, my hypnotist, hypnotherapist, whatever you want to call it, what she ended up doing was taking that component of my life and moving it out of combat and into the fun zone. So instead of sitting in traffic in Atlanta where I feel trapped and vulnerable and have no speed and can't change anything, we move driving into a category of fun. So now I take my car out and I have a little fun. Not dangerous, I do enjoy the speed and Given the opportunity, I do track this car out a lot, and it's a lot of fun. But moving it from combat to the fun zone was the unlock. So whatever that trauma is, it's not that you get over it. Whatever the triggers are, you move them into a different category in your, in your brain, in your subconscious. Find your trauma, identify it, understand when you get behind this slow car going up the mountain that it's not a threat now it's just fun and if i want to have a little more fun all i gotta do is stop 
that's it. Find your triggers, find your trauma, identify it, recategorize it, but you've got to do all the first steps first or this doesn't work. Go have fun.